Welcome back guys, it's Irene from Reenie Rocks and today I'm going to show you how I made this bowl. Isn't it awesome? Look at it. I absolutely love this bowl and yeah, we're gonna just gonna show you how I made it. Uh, the only difference is, I'm obviously I'm not gonna make the, uh, the exact same thing I mean, in terms of color. Uh, this time I'm going to use some cool blues. So I have, um, I'm not sure what shade this is from Crystal, uh, Crystal Resin, but it's a lighter blue. And then I have the Macaw Blue Green for my candy, the Carolina Blue, and Blue Blood, which I haven't used yet. So, and yeah, I thought it would look really nice. And I might add in a little bit of the Amsterdam acrylic. We'll see. Uh, and with this time, instead of gold, I'm going to use silver. So what I've done here is I've actually mixed up Girl's Best Friend from Glitter Makes It, one of my faves, some chunkier um, silver glass, and some regular silver fine glitter. All right, so, and then I've just mixed it all up. Obviously, I'm not gonna use all of this right now. I've mixed up more for the next step once this part, uh, once the first part cures, but uh, I am gonna use just a little bit of it for this round. All right, so let's get started. First things first, I have this vinyl placemat that I found from Dollarama. Yay. And what we're gonna do is make sure it's clean. So they have the shiny side. We're gonna flip this over. And this is the dull flat side. I'm actually going to lay um, tape, packing tape right across the entire thing and that'll keep every, that'll keep it sealed and then when I pour from the other end uh, from the other side it'll it'll just all work out okay so I am going to speed up this process of me Take that, fix my mat here, take this over, like that, there we have it. Okay, so we're back. I have taped this, taped this uh, the placemat down onto the, the, the packing tape and I've made sure that it's uh, adhered properly. Oops, there's a little something, something there. And I think we're ready to pour. It's been about 10 minutes now, 15 minutes. I've already mixed up my resin or my colors and I use crystal resin, one-to-one. -one. Love this stuff, I'll put that away. And oh, I'm gonna grab a wipe here. Just give me a sec. So all the colors that I've used will be listed in the description box along with the glitter. I think I am going to go ahead and use uh, the blue green uh, from Amsterdam just to maybe around the edge or maybe I'll just like quickly, I don't know, we'll see. 
The, only, the thing that I'm going to do differently with this one as opposed to what I did with the first one is um, when I first started out, I was individually pouring the colors in the holes. Then I real after a little while, I realized, why am I doing this? It makes no sense because it just ended up becoming, it all meshed together anyhow. And so I'm not going to do that with this one. I'm just going to do a straight pour and see what happens. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So we're all good. You can see here it's so sticky. That's what fine okay so I have mixed up just a little bit of the glitter I've saved the rest for the next step after this cures so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the middle part silver so let's so yeah let's see I'm just going to play around whatever happens happens guys so we'll just I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put a little bit of silver on the edge of each uh opening you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my fingers okay we're gonna make this one silver too right there right in there Hopefully it turns out. So I'm just gonna dip my finger in there and I am literally just gonna go to town. Okay, well, who's ready for spring, summer? I know I am. I've had enough of the cold. I mean, it doesn't really get that cold here. Not like uh, poor people in uh, Texas and even like Eastern Canada. No, thank you. But uh, I'm just done. I'm tired of wearing jackets and scarves and just want, and it's sunny out right now, but it's actually, it's windy. It looks like we're going to get a windstorm, but it's, the wind is just cold. I mean, I shouldn't complain. I grew up in Toronto and it's way colder in Toronto than it is in here, than it is here in BC. But I think, you know, after a while you just acclimate to the climate that you live in. And uh, yeah, so somebody say from like back east would be would be here right now, like laughing, probably wearing shorts outside. <laughs> Actually, my brother did that once. He visited me because my family's still back east in Toronto, and uh, it was March, and I was just like complaining, oh, oh, it's so cold. And he's like, are, are you're crazy. That's what he told me. He goes, you're, what are you talking about? I'm like wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Okay, Chris. So, yeah. Okay. I think this is going to look pretty. I'm glad that I decided to use the uh, girl's best friend. It's a, you know, it's a light silver. Some of the silver glitters that you get, they're just so 
I don't know, they're kind of dark. I don't like it. But. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to worry too much about the outer edge because on, on the very last step, we're going to we're going to pour some more of this lovely concoction. But we'll just go tap, 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 glitter everywhere. Am I missing any spots, guys? Okay. I think we're good. You never have too much glitter. You know, when I was, uh, I used to hate glitter. Not hate it, but I was like, why would I ever use, need, have the need to buy glitter? Like literally, right now, I'm a nail technician's dream. That's what my friend said to me the other day. She's like, she came over to my studio and was like, um, I need to come here and do nails. Okay. Okay, so I think we're good. Do, do, do. And I continue placing glitter. I kind of want to use all this up because then it's just going to go to waste. Well, not really. I guess I could have made a, a keychain or something. Okay. I promise now. I think I'm, I, mean, I got to stop. Sure. Check my video if my video is still running. Otherwise, I'd be just talking to myself. Okay, so that's that. I need to grab my heat gun or my uh, torch here quickly. Torch the colors. Bubbles in the cup. Ooh. Right. You want your this the resin to be a little bit runnier because and you don't want it like spilling out over the, over the, all over the place. So because I obviously I don't have it dammed or anything to stop the resin from going past the the, the tape. Um, okay, so let's start off with the lightest color which I'm not sure what color that is, but it's from Crystal Resin. So it's like a lighter blue. So we'll do that. And that's actually very pretty. I mean, look at that. It's actually quite gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Really, hopefully this works out. I'll make sure that this is... Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pour. Kind of want the colors to meld anyway. Together, so. Okay, that's color number one. Number two is macaw blue green. Look at that. Love that. And that's from Eye Candy. This is so much faster and easier than the, how I first did it. Okay. We'll wait. Next one is the Carolina Blue. Beautiful color. 
Like that's just gorgeous color. This is my first time using it and uh, yeah, it's kind of has a, it's blue, it has like maybe like a gray tone to it. It's really very pretty. Kind of going with the cool blues this time around instead of the warmer ones that I did in my first bowl. <clears throat> All right, oh, I want to make sure I keep it in. Okay, and this one is called Blue Blood. I haven't used this one either, but that's just gorgeous. Hmm, love it. And we're gonna pour this around the end. I'm kind of glad I went with the color scheme. Right, funny. I've already I've used it all up, and that's okay. Scrape out the cup. Okay, that one's finito. So now I have my blue green. I might add like a little bit in the center here. Then I take the heat gun and I'm going to spread this all around. Well, hopefully, I didn't muck this up. Should be fine. Let's uh, finish adding the um, the macaw blue. Carolina blue, which I absolutely I think this color is so nice. These would look good as <clears throat> I might make a coaster with this color. All right, that one. And then I have my lighter one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cover up a little bit here not enough. I think I should go lighter on the out just to like a line. Why not? Grab the stick. It'll look good. Well, guess we'll find out eventually. And the remainder of um, yeah, this is starting to get sticky. Wow, it's super windy out. It's so deceiving because it's just beautiful and sunny, but no, thank you. That's insane. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, yeah, <laughs> oops, okay.
Alrighty. So here we go. One big mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow this up. My heat gun. I'm going to warm this up a little higher. Hopefully I mixed enough. I'm pretty sure I did 200 on the last one. I'm going to squeegee it out. I'll blow this out like this a little bit. I mean, okay, that's uh, that's gorgeous. I, I love this. Okay. So, enough of the heat. My tape is starting to curl, which that's my fault because I just applied way too much heat. So let me just go grab my little silicone um, thingamabobby here. And we're just going to pull this out here. There we go. Oh yeah, there's tons of resin here. Okay, we're just going to pull it out a little bit. I'm, gonna s I'm actually going to, uh, yeah, big mistake there. Let me fix this. I'm going to cut the tape. That's fine. I'm good. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna tape that down. But let's let me just finish. Pulling out the resin here. I'm not too worried about the edges because, although I'm like trying to cover them, because I'm gonna, they're gonna be covered again anyway with resin. So, that being said, we are done. See here, like from the heat, what I did. I'm gonna remove my silicone mats because I think that's what it is from underneath and get that flat down. It'll be fine. Okay, we are done. We're gonna let this uh, cure. And then come back for the uh, second step. All right, see you guys soon.
Okay, we're back guys, and so you'll see that this is dried. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape off the back side of this. I'm gonna speed this part up. Okay, so taking the tape off, so when you do it, make sure you do it very slowly. Um, uh, I see here right away where I had overlapped uh, my tape that that was a big no-no. So what I'm gonna have to do is, I'm going to have to probably sand this down a little bit, but um, that's all right. So now the next step is to peel off the, uh, the vinyl placemat. So now you want, when you do this, this is why I didn't cover up. So see, I have a little area here, a little corner that I could start peeling from. So make sure when you do this, you do this slowly. If you do end up getting some cracks, that's okay. Though, uh, along the edges, those will be covered up with our final coat and the glitter. All right, so let's start, hopefully. There we go. Just take your time with this. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed about this and I knew I should have um, stopped and taken the time to be a little bit more careful with that, but whatever, live and learn. Hopefully yours turns out better than mine does this time around. So you'll see it's starting to come out. Just take your time. I'll just, I will just go along the edges first. Still have some tape stuck over here. Okay, I'm going to speed this part up as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so as you saw there, um, I struggled with this one. So, it looks beautiful. I absolutely love the colors and yeah, I love the blue blood is just amazing. Like I just love the colors on this. Um, you'll see that I ruined the mold. The placemat, not a big deal. Uh, it is what it is. Lesson learned from this, from, from doing this the second time around. Try to use your heat gun as less as possible when you're spreading the colors around. And make sure you do a better taping job than I did because I can see here are these little ridges. So what I might do is I'll probably, you'll see that I, the uh, placemat came off easier after I used my heat gun. So I should have done that from the get-go. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, I think it's gorgeous. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I can just uh, peel these off here. I think I can actually, yep. Just gonna go get a little X-Acto knife, clean this up. All right guys, so uh, we're at the, we're almost at the end here. So I have, I trimmed the, um, the tray a little bit more just to round it out. And I have added um, resin to my glitter. So I've mixed up 300 mils for this one. And what I decided to do, to do was I've added a little bit of the icicle from eye candy into the, into the clear. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pour the clear resin onto the, on top of this tray. And you'll see here, this is the, uh, the rough side, the sticky side. the finish line this is finally cured and now we're ready to shape it into the bowl so what uh, you didn't see me do is after I played around with the glitter around the edge um, I fiddled and fiddled I had a little bit of a mess happening as you can see my silicone mat is a mess um, the glitter didn't really cover as much as I wanted to, but that's my fault because I didn't, uh, I, you know, I used a very light glitter. But nonetheless, I think it's awesome, and I hope you guys think so too. So let's get to down to the fun part. So I have my bowl here. That I, this is the bowl that I'm going to use to shape this. So first things first, what we need to do, actually, I'll place this over here. I'm going to put, place that over the bowl. 
and we're going to heat it up with the heat gun. Get up a little bit higher. And we're going to get it nice and hot so that it can, uh, it's moldable. a piece of parchment that I'm going to place in the middle of the bowl and we're just going to press down I think we're going to have to heat this up a little bit more sorry guys a little bit more that it, I have it evenly placed and we're just going to press down. Now I have this jar that I'm going to place in the middle. Keep it down. Obviously that's not heavy enough. So I have this rock, <laughs> my starfish rock that I painted a long time ago, and that's heavy. So we're going to place, put that there. And we're just going to fiddle around with this until I get the, uh, you know, you fiddle around until you get the shape that you want. I mean, literally, you can make as many uh, waves as you want. I think I like that. I'm going to make it a little, I think it's good. It's actually pretty decent right now. I could, uh, you know, if you wanted to, oops, that one is not staying. I want to make sure that this is actually centered properly. So just let me let me just double check here. Okay.
twist this around. Let me take a look at it from afar. wonder if I should uh, try to add another. Mm, actually, no, that's good. I think that's good. It'll harden up here in a little bit. Should I add in more? It's already starting to harden up. We'll make this one a little bit differently shaped. I like it. I like that shape. So that'll stay. I feel as though this is like I should probably add another. Um, even though like you think the rock would be heavy, I feel like it's not heavy enough. I think we're good. I like that. Let's put this on top here. Because you want to make sure that the bottom is flat so that the bowl can actually sit. So while that's a doing, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab, let's see here, find, I have uh, my Deco Color Premium in silver. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to paint the edges, the, the, the trim, just to finish it off, like that. And there you have it. Right, so we're just going to paint that and then this is how I make the bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much. Please like, share, subscribe and see you guys again next time. Bye now.